Okay, welcome to the first summer astronomy club meeting this summer. Um, first order of business, uh, we have a new website, and we'd like to thank Kevin, our extraordinary webmaster, for coming up with it. You can see uh, it has a welcome page, some details about the club that most of you already know. Um, you can use it as long as it's not like instructed by anything. Mm -hmm. it's very and then we have some all the videos of the meetings that we make. So if you don't, if you can't make it to a meeting, you can just look at these videos uh, and the calendar that we need to update. Uh, info about the projects that we have going on and. Another thing added to this is details about numbers, outreach, yes, this. Um, one thing we've talked about doing for a little while and are going to try and start doing this semester is kind of for some more income. We'll, we're trying to advertise if we, we can do star parties for profit, for like if you have some friend that wants to do a birthday party or something like that and they want to do a star party, then we would like to, um, we would be able to set that up and provide that and try and really do a good job of showing around the night sky. Uh, this is, what do you say, like half of what other organizations charge so that's it's really cheap and if you're an educational organization or not for profit we can definitely uh, talk about reduced rate or even especially if like you're a school or something we could we would really do that for free uh, just because that's important uh, that's pretty much But while we're on the web, I just wanted to bring up. It's broken. But <laughs> uh, Astronomy Club has a Facebook page. You should join it. We're going to try and keep it more updated because I know that's spent a lot of time on it, so you can figure out astronomy things that are going on. That's all the new web stuff, basically. And so, let's move on to the actual stuff. Uh, May 27th, a while ago, uh, was the American Astronomical Society meeting, and there were three members of the Shrine Club that went and presented research. First of all, being Jake Turner here, he's really excited about his research. Uh, he presented his, uh, he presented the Astronomy Club Exoplanet Project, and uh, he made a poster about everything that we had done for the Exoplanet Project and presented that, and he got a pretty good response. You can see we have all kinds of light curves and data, and, and also we have Kevin, who, if you were on the steward listserv, got a notice that he uh, won the Chambliss Award, which is uh, for undergrad posters. That's what this poster is saying. He's participating in the Chambliss Award. Actually, uh, I, I think he would want me to mention that he won honorable mention. I want to clarify that. So there's no confusion. Uh, and then I was there also, as you can see it was raining that day, and apparently it does in Boston from time to time. Um, also you'll notice that we have the Astronomy Club logo on our uh, posters, so we're advertising 
astronomy club while you're there. This whole poster is an astronomy club. So. Yes. Speaking of research and projects, uh, we have some projects that are continuing to go on through the summer. Uh, first of all, the extra extrasolar planet project, which you saw Jake present. Uh, this poster. Um, we are going to try and do some more observing to get some more data to, to see if we can do some more interesting analysis. And that will be done at the 61 inch on Mount Bigelow slash Mount Lemon. And um, these are the dates that we have applied for TBS time or to be scheduled time for. And so if you would like to participate in if you'd like to go observing, I know it's, it's a really great experience if you haven't, and um, it's really fun. You can go with your friends. You don't have too much uh, pressure, really. Uh, why don't you sign up on this sheet and kind of indicate which days that you would like to do it. This isn't a 100% commitment, but we would like to get some kind of notice about what we have going so far. And also we have our binocular telescope project. If you don't know about this, is we're building a binocular telescope which has two 12 inch, 10 inch mirrors. Um, and we have pretty much all the parts. We have the mirrors, we have the secondaries. We just need to get the structure built and so that's something we're going to try and do this summer. And uh, there will be a meeting at 5.30 today to kind of get that going and move that along. OK. Um, as you all know, we have star parties every first Saturday of the month. However, you may also know that there are lots of fires going on in Tucson. and so. Uh, a lot of the parks are closed, so depending on what happens there, we may or may not be able to do our July star party. And if we are not able to, we may try to reschedule it if we get better time, but um, right now it's uh, not looking too good. But we will, we will keep you updated with that, and if we can have it, we will. A little more fun thing. Uh, <laughs> a lot of you are members of SEDS, and we wanted to do the social event, so they scheduled a kind of brunch party type deal where you just go in, we make some pancakes and waffles and everything else your heart can desire. Uh, it's tentatively scheduled for this Saturday, June 25th at 11 a.m. And um, like I said, we'll make everything and it'll just be a social event for everybody. But we do uh, ask for a one or two dollar donation to try and help cover the costs. And interestingly enough, this was the third photo that came up when you Google search pancakes. <laughs> so I thought that was awesome. Uh, this will be in the SEDS office. If you don't know where that is, it's in the steward loading dock, which is uh, behind, us. behind us. You know, maybe if you need more directions. Um, and that's kind of what we have going on through the summer right now. There could be more events, so keep checking your email. Uh, but next semester, we have lots of stuff going on. Uh, I've said this before, you need to go to this website and check off when you are available for meeting times because we only have like three people that have done that so far and we want to schedule a meeting that a lot of people can make. So we need people to uh, check when they're available and so we can schedule a new meeting time. But everyone so is Oh, I should probably should mention that. No, it does not. But if you go to the old website, it will redirect you to the new website. 
So that, that meeting form is on the website? Yes. yes. It's, it's still on the website. Yeah, it is. It's still the, the, the new website has the URL of uaastroclub.org. We purchased that domain. definitely check it out. Um, and also, there might be some new projects. I know definitely uh, Leon C. Shirley, who works over right over there, uh, he worked uh, with, a, with the Astronomy Club on a radio project last year, and that went really well. And he was wanting to do another project where Astronomy Club uh, really did it start to finish, because the previous radio project was pretty much just a uh, addition of us helping him with the current project. And he wants to do something where Astronomy Club starts out, goes, collects the data, does the analysis, uh, writes up the paper, and uh, I think that will be a really fun project to definitely uh, check in early in the semester to see about that. Um, so that's kind of all I have.